And, and now we're on the Chairman Project, and one of the songs is called Rich. It's a prayer for everybody out there. I'm going to do the, the, the second verse. Let me do the second verse. Um, I was telling my family, my daddy, my mommy, my brothers, I'm talking about Jackson Zamani. We don't have no money. They're treating us funny. But soon we'll be talking to, on the truth to Lisa. Morning is coming and soon it'll be sunny. Land will be flowing with milk and with honey. Driving a Bentley and dating Agbani. Flying to Yankee to pick up the Grammy. Omo, Baba, Lo, eh? All of our children will sing that tomorrow because they don't know what it's like in the ghetto. They don't know the meaning of borrow. Listen, from blessing to blessing, no stress in my life, I'm progressing. I'm confessing, confessions of flexing till my pocket is vexing. May that be your testimony. Hi, this is Genevieve Naji, and this is The Truth with Olisa. Make sure you subscribe. Or do you have one now? That's the best. No, I don't. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Hey, this this show is called the truth, Genevieve. I don't have a boyfriend now. Okay, but when was the last time you had one? Hello and welcome to the truth with Olisa. My name is Olisa. What do we do? What is the truth? Well, the truth is I have no idea. But the bottom line is that maybe after the next few minutes, the next thirty minutes or so, maybe even less. You might get to find out the truth about a particular person, a particular thing, a particular subject matter, individual, group, you never know. The program is about taking someone, someone who has influence, someone who is a tastemaker, someone who's popular, someone who drives a particular area, someone who's a giant in their field of endeavor, and peeling back the layers, find out what really lies beneath. Who are they? Who is she? Who is he? What is the truth behind the guy? How did he get to where he is? Where is he going to? That's what it's all about. Influencers, tastemakers of society. And today we're lucky. We have such a guy. Yeah. Not me. No. We got Mr. Incredible. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. And that, that intro, like, mind-boggling. You like it? Eh? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Nah, can, I, can I sample it and just use it every time I go on stage? Anytime you yeah, want, man. Yeah, but I know you have better ones. <laughs> I, don't, no, I, I don't think I have something better than that. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> Well, good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm have excited. You, have you seen any? Yes, episodes? absolutely. I watched. Uh, I was watching the Genevieve one yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You like it? Huge fan. Huge okay. fan of, of the show, okay. of your work. You know, oh. your body of work over oh, the oh, years. Oh, oh, but oh, and oh, also oh. Genevieve too. Shout oh, out to all right, her. All right. The checks in the post. How much you? <laughs> thank want? you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Where well, we am I? <laughs> so many questions. So many people. You're a very popular man. You're, you've transcended music. You're wow. a, a social <laughs> activist, you're a spokesperson for multiple brands, for different, for state governments, for federal government at some point in time. Yeah. You've come a long way. Tell us, how did it all start? Just take it back to the beginning. Yo, uh, it starts in Joss, it starts 1981. Mm -hmm. I st it really started with my parents. I mean, everything my parents wear uh, culminated into who we are as right. you know, individuals, me and my two younger brothers. Um, one of the things that I was thinking about recently is that we didn't have a TV growing up. So by the time I was 10, 11, I'd read the Chronicles of Narnia two, three times, you know, the whole series. I, I used to read the encyclopedia. I used to read anything I could get my hands on. You know, I had a wide imagination. Um, I was in love with music. I grew up in Joss at the time of Mama Shata and uh, Dan Mariah and <laughs> Panam was just, Panam Prince Paul was just becoming a, a superstar in the gospel field. And I was just in love with music. I used to listen to gospel music all the time. And then um, these, these things just sort of shaped who you know, I was going to become. Yeah. And uh, by the time I was in secondary school, I started you know, getting involved with rap music. Rap music was for the bad, bad boys then. It wasn't for, <laughs> for church kids like me. But um, there was one or two groups and one or two guys that influenced me. And, and I'm not even talking huge rap stars. Just there's like one heavy D song that a classmate yeah. of mine knew. And he was like, oh, he was making rain, the lyrics, honey, yeah. pop the umbrella. I was like, oh, you know. And then I started getting into rap music. And I mean, really, I just loved music. But rap music started, you know, interesting me. And I didn't have a great voice, you know, so. Uh, but gradually, it just evolved. And, you know, by the time I was coming up, Jesse, who's a copycat of everything I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, um, he started rapping too, started producing. And with a lot of other just guys, I mean, Peace Corps were popping off. You think of E. Kelly, you think of um, so, so many people in Joss. Well, I'm Jeremiah. Because a lot of people have said it. Joss has yeah, let me Jeremiah hear. again. Just, yeah. What is it that, about Joss that, that has that's created such a huge, huge number of artists coming through from there? Man, we're testing the water, we're testing the, the air there. We don't, we don't know what it is. Just 
a point in time, there was just so much creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went to college in the States, I saw how much the, the government will spend on like youth programs, mm -hmm. you know, especially in like urban areas. And everything came naturally to us in Joss. We would organize our own parties, we would organize our own sports festivals, we would be, go watch basketball games at night. Like Joss had an amazing atmosphere from, you know, mid 80s to like right around 97, 98. It had an amazing atmosphere, the most amazing place to grow up. Um, our innocence was lost 2001, of course, when yeah. the first, yeah. you that know, was I think September sad. 7th, you know, when the first uh, religious conflict happened. But, but up until then, I mean, it, it's completely responsible for who mm. I became. Okay, no, um, let's, let's, let's go a little bit on that matter. Um, I remember there was a campaign, Justified, a yeah. t-shirt with JOS. Yeah. Uh, you were part of it. Uh, what's, what's the mood now? What's, what do people think about it, it hasn't been resolved, really. Yeah. It's, there's still little skirmishes I mean, now I, and then. I, we were celebrating, I think, about two years or something of, um, of ceasefire in Joss. And mm -hmm. today I was just reading that 24 people have died in the last week in Joss, you know, in villages. And it's sad. I mean, this was a place where everybody was everyone's brother. You know, it didn't matter your, really your didn't tribe, matter. it didn't matter. And me personally, when, I, uh, in, when I'm in Lagos, I interact with people, tribe matters not to me. I don't know how mm -hmm. Igbo people are. I don't know how Yoruba people are. You can hear some people say, ah, Igbo people are like you. But growing up in Joss, it didn't matter. You know, it didn't matter at all whether you're Hausa, you're Igbo, you're Yoruba, you're Delta, you're Tiv, you're Jukun, mm -hmm. whatever. It didn't matter. Um, but um, it's sad to see that that's happening. And, you know, it's starting to even affect the geography of Joss. There's yeah. the streets that were very popular where I can't go to anymore. Right. You know, um, the market, this beautiful place. I have a, 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 a painting sort mm -hmm. of a photograph up there, there up there and um i've been there we've been yeah. there we used to do a lot of shows there. i used to come down to just what we loved about just was the weather man and was, apart from the beautiful girls yeah girls, that too <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. the first time i ran into mi as well Long yeah long. man he, he won't even know because let me tell you guys i w i mean he was hosting the show i remember sitting there i had just come back from you know the state so i didn't really know so much but somebody was like oh that's olisa he's like this big he does all the shows he's on air i was like oh wow and uh, I remember that Star Plus. Difficult. Star Plus yes. were coming through then. Star Plus, yeah. Jeremiah was on stage. I think African China, mm -hmm. a few other people. That's, wild, that's like yeah. a decade ago. Yeah. A decade. And, and I just remember just standing there and just saying, you know, then I didn't even have confidence that I could ever do this. Now, we're going to get to that. Yeah. What can we do? What can, what can be done about Josh? You're a man of ideas. You're a man of, you, you, you ask a lot of questions, but you also have a lot of answers and you're not afraid to speak up. Yeah. So what can we do about the problem that's going around? Ah, man, it's such a complex issue. Mm -hmm. um, where do people get weapons and uniforms from is uh, at a level. You know, most times when people interact with situations like this, it's very simple. It's like, ah, oh, let's do peace campaigns, let's do awareness campaigns, let's get people talking, let's get a dialogue going, let's bring young people together. But when you have people that are not just people, coming into it, with like, military yeah. uniforms, with guns, doing military actions at 4 a.m., burning buildings and killing people, then you understand that this may not even be an issue that is born in Joss. Mm -hmm. It may be an issue that is being fought in Joss, but is decided elsewhere. Okay. You know, and um, I just don't think I have enough information or, um, or enough of a vantage point to speak On authoritatively you know, about it. It's, we can pray. Okay. And I believe really strongly. I mean, I'm a Christian, and the Bible says, my people who are called by, their, by my name, humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, I will heal the land. So that's, that's my strongest weapon I have now is to pray. Pray for Josh. All right, and also you have, a, yeah. you have the message of your music Yeah, as well. true, true, so, true. Now, let's get to the music. We, uh, we're getting heavy here. Because, <laughs> you know, but but that, these, are things, these are things that as a, as a, as a musician, yeah. you know, it's not just about the party and the shayo yeah. and the girls and the clubs no. and everything. You also, have a, you also have a message in all your songs. Yeah. Now, the new album dropping, it's it's dropping, gonna, man. I tell you what, <laughs> some people have, have been waiting. Some people have given up on Kids me, man. Kids have gone to school. <laughs> I'm telling you. Kids have been born. <laughs> they're now, they've now got their own family. <laughs> <laughs> they're working. They, they, they moved out of the house since the last album. No, I'm it's kidding. crazy. I, I, I meet fans now that were like, Yo, I used to listen to you in secondary school. And it's, like, it's like a bank worker. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm not that old. But, um, but yes, man, it took a while. It's been four years. I like to say it's been two years because I think you have two years after your last album so to sort of record. Yeah, yeah. So not in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> not in Africa. Yeah, generally. no, I mean not anymore. Music yeah. is so it's so quick right now, but um mm -hmm. but I'm excited, man. It's new music, it's is uh, new inspiration. I 
I'm bringing, the last time I came, I brought Jesse Jazz, Ice Prince, Brian Moore, you know, um, and a lot of Ruby, a lot of people from Just. Now it's a new family, it's a new artists, new producers. They're coming out. It's an amazing album, I think. You know, I think personally it's the best one How many tracks? of the three. It's going to be 16 songs with 17 tracks, because I always do the skit at the beginning. Okay, okay. Yeah. now, uh, King James. Yes. Is that what it's called? No, no, King James is not even on the album. King James, no, did you make the album? No, 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 it's okay, not. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what's the album going to be called? Uh, it's called The Chairman Album. And it's, okay. it's just, the reason why the whole Chairman thing came about was because one day I was trying to get on a plane and everybody was like, Chairman, Chairman, Chairman. And it was one of those days I had a flashback to the early days. And I was like, how did this happen? So the album is me trying to tell the story of how, how this happened. Are because, you involved? Because there are young kids out there that are looking at us and, and they're, they're being told one thing about how we made it. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, no, this is how I made it. You know, this is how I made it um, and, and share my story with them so that in years to come to, they could be in that chairman position or, or, or kingly position. I love the name King also. You think you're the yeah. best rapper in Nigeria? <laughs> I, I hope so. Mm. I hope so. I work, I work to be and I believe everyone else Prince, does. Ice Prince is going to argue with that. Nato C is going to argue <laughs> with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of love actually in the hip hop community, mm -hmm. which I don't know if that's even, a, <laughs> that helps us competitively, mm -hmm. but but there's a lot of love and a lot of respect, especially between Nato and I, because mm -hmm. um, with a lot of the guys that are popping right now, we didn't come out at the same time. So there's a little bit of a, uh, if you were to put it in the class level, maybe mm -hmm. you say the seniors, the sophomores. I think there's a, there's a level where there, there are like five or six of you who are yeah. on that level, yeah. where you're like the Premier League, yeah. then there's the rest of them. Yeah. You know? but, but Nato, to me, is the guy that all throughout my career, you know, we've been toe and toe. And even up until now, we, we look at each other and we're, we're great friends now, mm -hmm. and, um, and I, I respect what he's doing. But like, I think everybody wants to be the best. And I think that that's why like, now I tune in and listen to like Fino or an Alamide record or Reminis, Ice Prince, Vector. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you, 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 you hit know what I'm saying? You hit the name of the name. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and even the other day, I was listening to Mundine's album. Yeah, okay. And I heard one song, and I'm like, like Mode, like Mode is just on a level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rugged Man is back, like his new song, Wandy yeah. Cole is, you know, and I mean, there are guys, Young Six, and all these other guys that are coming through. It's, it's a great time for hip-hop, and my enduring legacy, I, I, I pray it is, the fact that rappers headline shows. But you've been doing that for, uh, Nato's yeah. been doing that, you've done that, Ice Cream's done that. It started with, I think, at NATO and MI at that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, I think that should be what we are remembered for, that we took it, NATO, at least NATO and I, and Ikechuku's in there, Sun's Kid, you know, all those people that were at that time, took it to the point where we could headline an event. commercially viable you to be I mean? a rapper. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, they've always been fans. Okay. But for them to come out and, and you do 5,000 people at a hotel and they sit and wait for you to perform. I mean, that was revered, that was left for Two Face and P Square mm -hmm. and those guys, you know, Nice and all these guys. But when now, Olamide is the last act people sit down and wait. They wait for it. Because they want, it happen. See, you know it happen, yeah. they want to see it happen. And, and you can do a show now with, you can do a, uh, um, you can do a show with like rappers. Yeah, and, and people will not even think it's a rap show. Mm -hmm. That's they good, that's good. They will even think it's a rap Come show. Come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate City, how did you get hooked up with Chocolate City? Tell us a story. <laughs> Chocolate City, so You're I... You're going to be going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, no, be. I love it, I love it. So I came back from, uh, from the States, I was in college there, I came back. Um, I was trying to go back actually, um, and in the midst of that, I met Jeremiah. Jeremiah and I have been friends since we were both sperms, you know, sperm cells. Um, what that means that yeah. when Jeremiah's dad... That's uh, even better than the ODB <laughs> Mariah. You know the line, me and Mariah go yeah. back like baby pacifiers. You go back even further. No, further, further okay. than that. Right. When, Jeremiah and, when Jeremiah's dad and my dad were, I think, 24, they were best friends. All right. So I've known him since he was a baby. Mm -hmm. I, he was born nine days after me. So I started managing him and started, one day he came and said, oh, I met this guy, his name is Audi Mekori. He's starting a label in Abuja. You know, he's really smart. I want to get signed up. And I was like, okay, we've done what we can do for Joss, you know, proceed. And, and um, gradually, through the other partner, Paul, you know, we started doing events and he was like, this guy's good. You know, you could, you could, uh, you could challenge Rugged Man. At that time, Rugged Man was the king. So it was like, ah, maybe you're, you're as good as Rugged Man. They would say that with fear, like, ah, Emma, you trash her, you, you, could, you could maybe challenge Rugged Man. And, and uh, I got the record deal and it's been a long, winding journey, very interesting. What's the relationship like? Because what, there was one time a couple of years back, there was a rumor of you leaving. No, 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 no. Um, it, it will never be 
But there was a rumor. Yeah, well, I mean, something the, happened. Yeah, the no, the rumor was I there. I think Jesse left as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What yeah, yeah. rumor <laughs> are you leaving? Um, the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, MI Chocolate City, the relationship has always been great. Um, I've been able to grow from being somebody that I used to support Jeremiah, to walk around, help him carry his guitar, do whatever, to being an executive. I own stock in the company. Um, I am I, I'm the last person when a song. This is the easiest way I can describe my role. When music is all done, you're the, you're everybody's the, you're waiting. The, you're the last, you're the gateway for the yes, song. Yes, everybody's waiting and the MI has to say yes. You know, and um, I think that it's a good thing. We see so often in, the, in our business, partnerships dissolve. And it's all fun and games for everybody that's looking. Mm -hmm. But for the people serious that are inside, matter. it's a serious issue. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and for me, I, I'm happy about the fact that I now have Loopy mm -hmm. in partnership with Chocolate City, okay. you know, and um, yes, let me segue into the Jesse issue. Yeah, Jesse issue, because we want to know what happened with Jesse, yeah. what happened with Brian Moore? But let's do with Jesse Yeah, first. Yeah, let, let me talk about Jesse first. Mm -hmm. So, Jesse had this idea a while back <clears throat> about music and he started, I think it evolved in his head as he, the more he spoke about it. So he started recording these songs and, and they sounded different to us and he was telling us, this is how I want to do my music. And unfortunately, to be honest, first time you're going to hear this, I think that we were a little bit slow in catching his vision. And at some point, he made a decision. He was like, I'm going to do this by myself. And if you watch what happened, to, I mean, this is the truth. The truth is that it caught us by surprise. Mm -hmm. However, from that moment, there's been absolute, su absolute support. But did you try and take a few steps back? Did, did you, Chocolate City, and say, okay, listen, what? Jesse, we, we get we get you now. We understand where you want to go with this thing. Yeah. Maybe let 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 let's let you do what you want to do, but still be on our platform. We'll give you uh, artistic freedom, artistic control. Um, I think that that's the key thing that he wanted. Mm. He wanted ownership. I think that's the key thing. So yeah. it was a situation where everybody knew right from the onset when they sat down and spoke that. Jesse needs to do this on his own. Was it because the music, maybe Chocolate City wanted more commercial sound so they, that they could sell, and Jesse was doing more music that he felt was coming from his conscience? Um, the best way I can answer that, I'm trying to be um, as articulate see, as possible. No, 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 okay. not even politically correct, as articulate as possible. The best way I can answer that is that the music grind has a, has a way it works. Mm -hmm. The music business has a way it works. So. You put out a record, you know, you're going to go see Olisa mm -hmm. to get his music played at the, at the station. You're going to go see uh, the video guys. And I think Jesse had a different idea. And it, if he wanted you, the music to grow organically. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's his own thing. It's his own baby. And it needed its own type of soil. It needed, so we understood that as soon as we spoke with him, we could see that. And we said, okay, we're going to support you completely from whatever we're doing, you know, but just go with it and, and, and let's see how it goes. But you see, I, I believe that there's room for the likes of Jesse Jacks. Yeah. You know, the, right now, our music industry is evolving. Yeah. So it's not all about the party music. Yeah. There's also music that makes you think. Yeah. And that's what Jesse's doing. And he has yeah. a lot of fans out there. Jesse has you know, a lot of probably real, real the most loyal fans. fans. Probably the most loyal fans in Nigerian music. He has fans all the way to Kenya, to South Africa. Mm -hmm. People love the album that Nation Some of the songs are like anthems, you know. Yeah. People, you know so to me, Jesse's album is the best so album. So is he on his own now? Is he coming back to Loopy or coming back to Chocolate City? I would love to have him on Loopy, man. I'd love to have him on Loopy. Um, he's doing Jack's Nation, and that's, I think oh, yes. that, that, that's where he's at right now. Um, and I, I'm so proud. Like, I look at him, I'm, I'm really so proud. Who's of older? You and him? I'm older. Okay. Yeah. But how many so, years, two? Three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. He's my little, my little bro. You know what I mean? I used, to, I used to beat him up when we were. Okay. Yeah. That's probably why he's singing. <laughs> that's probably why he's going through those things. He doesn't know how to... You know what I'm saying? Just get on Dr. Phil. I'll talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Brimo. Ah, uh, Brimo issue. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Brimo was... You, you kept yeah. very quiet, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was... I, I was very shocked by that. Yeah. He didn't make any statement. He didn't say anything. Because, yeah. you see, you're an artist as well. Yeah. But also, right, we, we get it. You're an executive as well. Yeah. So, say Bri something now. Brimo's one, I'll just say, is, is more painful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I came with Jesse. I came with Ice Prince. And those were family that I had already. Brimo was family that I chose. And here's this young guy. I still remember the first time I met him, he walked into the studio, he was working with Jesse. I'd been looking for Brimo for so long. I, it was day really that gave me his number. And let me tell you what happened. I saw this video, this part, that's me, where, where. So I saw the song, I didn't, I saw it, but I didn't have, I didn't catch the name. You know how you see that? And I didn't you know, there's no head. Shazam, there's yeah. no, 
So I would go places and I'd try to explain to people. I didn't know he was singing. I was like, there's this guy, he has this new song. And then one day I was saying it dearly, I was like, oh, I know who it is, Brian Mo. He went and looked for the video and showed me. He went and looked for the video and gave, I mean, the number and gave me the number. I reached out to him, he came. I was another around, we recorded with Jesse, and then we started. And everybody said, ah, Brian Mo, does he fit the Chocolate City brand? And Brian Mo was with me for two years before people even knew the name Brian Mo. You know, um, and so what, you, what was he doing for two years? He was I mean, recording and just okay. and growing and okay. traveling and, and learning. I mean, um, there's a nurturing period, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and to be fair to him, he'd already done a lot of work. He had producer Mickey Me, great producer. So what went wrong with you with him and Jogger City? I don't know. I don't know. Is it I, that uh, is it a, a disagreement of financial? I don't know. I think you know, I think it, it always ends up seeming like it's about that, but it's never about. He that. wasn't happy with the contract that he got, or what? I I, I don't think that. I think Chuck You're City, an executive, am I? Boss, you we know have the exactly best. Exactly what happened. We <laughs> we have the best contracts in the business. No, I'm just saying. We have I'm the not, best, we're no one's yeah. arguing with that. Yeah. But we're and, saying and also, executive in, in Chocolate City. So you know exactly what transpired. Because it's a it's a conflict in the spirit. Okay. When it starts in the spirit, then every other detail will fall apart. Things fall apart when the center can't hold. So the center, something happened in the center. Yes, we, we know that, no, we're going <laughs> that MI doesn't have access to. I don't understand it. Right. I don't understand. And I saw him recently and we tried to speak for a while. It didn't go as well as I would have planned. Was he cold? It was interesting. Mm. And I was... Well, he sees you now. He doesn't see you as MI the artist anymore. But he sees you as MI the Chocolate City executive. Man, I mean, it's, I mean you know what? It... Is them, 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 those are the, what do you call so it? So basically the, the, you know, the, the, the bridge has been burnt. Um, there's a song on my album that answers that. There's okay. a song on my What's the song called? Look out it's called Brother. Brother. The, 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 so on my album that answers to that. Brian to people that have left. Brian and Jesse. Yeah. No. <laughs> the truth, ladies and gentlemen. is <laughs> more than that. In fact, people don't know this. Also the truth. When, when right before Jesse had left, like half of Chocolate City up and left in one day. Wow. The staff, they were like, oh, we're not doing this anymore. We are, we're not happy about this, this, this. And it happened. Mm -hmm. You know, these are, this is what you sign up for. The industry, I mean, you've been, you've been in, you're part of this. The industry doesn't support the revenue that will allow the label to operate be, optimally. Yeah, that luxury of it. Yeah, so, so, so it creates so many other small problems. Mm -hmm. And then it's up to the maturity of the artist, it's up to the maturity of the label owners and the, the staff there to, to try and make the most to try and keep moving forward, forward you know because it can be it can be very okay different. we're going to talk about the album later we're getting heavy this is, I mean, this is the heaviest one we've ever done the truth i knew with mi was going to be <laughs> like that, you know now personal life yeah, yeah. girlfriend uh, wife man. fiance <laughs> I, I, I hear you like tall girls that's one of the rumor has it yeah wow you I only got with models beauty queens you have to oh wow wow the like truth that. the truth <laughs> now okay so um is it true let me, I, I want to answer your question, but I'm going to answer like this. So Bella Nigeria came to me the other day and she said to me, she said, it is clear to all the bloggers and all the media people that MI goes out of his way to keep his business private. Right. And we respect that and because of that, we leave you alone. She said, it's not that we don't yeah, know. that's, that's not She really. said, <laughs> she says, a, it's not that we don't know. <laughs> so, I'm a no for, me, I want to know. <laughs> for me personally, I just, I, I think that's all very private. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> So, about Brimo, so yeah, when, when Brimo and I married, met, you have no, I'm kids? not married, I'm not married, you I have, have no kids. kids, I don't have kids. I you do, I do have two kids, I have two kids. Yeah? I have Jamal, okay. Ice Prince's son, okay. and I have uh, Jade, Jesse's daughter. Okay, so, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm so, a daddy in my own way. So yeah. tell us, um, so, um, you've, you've, you've been seeing someone for a few years now, I hear. Uh, from a my manager? Queen. No, my manager. Um, uh, you've had a girlfriend for a few years, uh, she's a model, from beauty queen. Right? Can't, no comments. Exactly. I can't so comment. Are you planning to get married to her soon? <laughs> no comments. No comments, man. I mean, she, she's looking yeah. like that. You know, uh -huh. if MI is going to take four years with this album, what am I going to make a proposal? You know how many people are calling my phone right now, like, eh, hey, so you have a. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a okay. joke. Yeah, that is not the truth. Okay. <laughs> no, but um, no comment. Um, at, in due time, I, I'm following the Jay Z and Beyonce pre elevator. Yeah. Blueprint. How do you cope with attention from female fans? I think. I find that most, because our culture is a culture of respect generally, right. most times if you don't, in, if you don't invite it, mm -hmm. it, is, it is not overbearing. 
But you go on tour, you're all over the all over the country, all over the yeah. world. How do you cope with temptation? Because being on the road is the hardest one. Because when you're when you're in a hotel suite, you know things happen. Yeah, actually after the show, you know hotel lobby. I, after that, I'm telling you. you know. But to be honest, being on the road is easier for me, and I, I've sort of developed a system of PlayStation in my backpack, so I just stay in my room and play computer games. Um, I what I'm going to say is very cheesy, but the first two years of my life, I there were a lot of people that were not happy with me. And I discovered that I had a gift that could make people happy, mm -hmm. but I personally would be making people sad. So I decided to make some personal changes okay. that would enable me to reduce the number of sad people. Okay. So you, you know? cut off some people, some girls, and decided to focus on some other girls. Wow. That's what you're saying. I've broken it down, right? Wow, 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 wow. Now, what kind of, what kind of, <laughs> this what kind is of, not... <laughs> what kind of women do you like? I love an intelligent woman. Yeah. It starts from... You know how you speak. Um, Young, old, black, white, short. The, I, it doesn't matter. If you're gonna be, I will say if you're gonna be light, be original, mm -hmm. light. You know, R real um, deal. Yeah. Um, shout out to Pato Ranking and Alami Day for that song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. I, I love African women. That's to me. That's my cutoff. Mm -hmm. If you're an African woman, I, I, I was in the states. I dated. I dated a Korean. I dated a Brazilian. I dated. Uh, someone from Guatemala, did it. Someone from the UK, did it. I did it quite a bit, and then when I came back home to Africa, I'm you had time to study. What do you mean? I, di I didn't actually. You didn't. Which yeah, is part of the reason I, I came back. You mean dating girls? <laughs> but um, I find that African women, head and shoulders above everyone else. Okay, beautiful. You know? I, we, I, we find that too. Yeah. Are you getting married in the next couple of years? Hopefully. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. You know. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. Now let's talk about this particular word I like. Am I? Yes, sir. Spokesperson, a lot of endorsements. How much money did you make in 2013? You know, we can't even comment now. You know what happened to us recently? There's the a, audited, the, right? Yeah, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're auditing us, man. Um, I can't complain. I, 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 when I'm not talking about Chocolate City, I'm talking MI. MI is in the artist. Yeah. What's, what's the split between you and Chocolate City? I don't know if I can reveal that. Why not? You have a contract, you have a lawyer. Okay, there are different splits, okay. You you probably have the split on, on, on yeah. the C D sales, yeah. you have the split on the endorsements. Yeah. How does it work? I've I've I think I've probably the best deal. I don't know what other people have. I know Banky basically works for himself and mm. the artists that do that that work okay, for themselves. Okay, what do you what do you get from? You get you, are you fifty fifty with Chocolate City? That's the that's the least split I have. Okay. The least that's split, on the, is that on the CD sales or the, downloads? When it comes to CDs and digital then uh, yeah. it's at least fifty percent. Okay, what about the uh, endorsements? Endorsements 60, 40 in your favor? is more than that. I, I don't want to. I don't. Ah. 70, 30? About that. In your favor? Yeah, about okay. that. Let's see. So, how much money did you make from Glow? How much money did you make from. I've made nothing. <laughs> I, uh, Lagos Tax Revenue Service. I made nothing. <laughs> Meanwhile, guys, it's important for people to pay their taxes, you know, because that's the only way Lagos can get. Uh, Lagos can in improve. We can, I thought you we can be part of. On energy, not tax. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm buying for the job, but 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 when they called us up, it was it was an eye opener, mm -hmm. you know, about how we can also really be part of where Lagos. No, we are. We're doing it. We shout yeah. out to the, our our guy, you know, yeah. our guy at the tax office in Lagos yeah. State, uh, Mr. Fowler, who's doing a great job. Yeah, he so, is actually. Yeah, we. So we and also he's trying to reach out to a lot of entertainers as well, so they can help. Uh, to you know, be spokespeople yeah. to convince other people to pay yeah. their taxes yeah. and what it's good for. Yeah. So we're all doing that. So yeah. and also, if you're an entertainer, you're floating it and you're you know you're flexing. Yeah. They're gonna come after you. Yeah, so, true. You know, get your stuff in order. True. So like MI has. Yeah. So now back to the question: How much money did you make in 2013? I I, I have no idea. I have no idea. My manager is here. Narrow? Yeah. I'm talking about, I forget, I mean, endorsements was a small <laughs> matter. We're talking about, I mean, glow endorsements, but between that. So you're, you're on you, you said You said no music, right? It's no, not, no, 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 if, okay. there, if there's no music. I know, I know like, people like P-Squared, you, uh, Flavor, you're the big dogs on the glow endorsement. So you, you're probably on, like, about, let's say, 30, 40 million now a year. Am I close? Oh, man, I, and then what I can't you, even believe that this is happening. Did this happen? You, you have <laughs> drinks uh, sponsorship as well, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm suffering. Yeah. All my, all the brands I work. Because eight, right? Yeah, all yeah. the brands I work for. Shout out to you guys. They've been really amazing. It's more than money. It really is more than money. Did Lagos State pay you for being an spokesperson? Actually, they didn't. I can talk about that one. Okay. They didn't. That was. But you know what? The lady there, my my boss mm -hmm. Ogadami, mm -hmm. she's so passionate. You know, and up to the commissioner okay. and up to the governor. Like, I've met all of them, and, and it's surprising how on point they are about the issues of energy. Like, Lagos State is way ahead 
okay. way ahead in terms of you know the energy conservation conversation con the energy conservation conversation is yeah. a bit of a tongue twister. So exactly, I like yeah. that. <laughs> so, um, so you happy with Chocolate City? What's going on there? Yeah, man. I'm. I'm I mean, I'm very happy and. And, um, happy with your revenue split, revenue share. Yeah, I'm. I'm I mean, I'm. I'm truly blessed, and this is the greatest thing about my deal. I, I call out. Are you are not going to do a whiskey on them? No, 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 at all, at all. I mean, shout out to whiskey. I, I, I think for. I think whiskey finished his contract. Yeah. I, from what I understand. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think. That no, I mean, people grow, people move yeah. on. It's not. I mean, no condition on family. Yeah. So, but uh, for me, for right now, I'm, I'm happy. I'm at home in Chocolate City. Mm -hmm. um, they're allowing me to develop what I want to do. How's Lupi doing? Lupi is doing well. I mean, I, I, I had a five-year plan, and we're way ahead of it. Okay. You know, um, the music business to do it well is serious business. We're looking forward to it. Sixteen tracks. What kind? Of, what's, what's the first single? Uh, this People weren't really feeling Chairman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it um, gonna make the album? No, it has to because it's a title track, isn't it? Really. There's a Chairman song on the album. Another and version. I'll just, I'll just say that there's a song called the Chairman on the album. But it's a different version then, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, um, what's the first single? There's no singles actually. We're just gonna release the album. We're doing a Magna Carta on you guys. Okay. So we're just gonna release the album. You buy the album and listen to the music at one time. Um, it's an amazing album. Um, it's a story, and every song has an opposite side to it. So there's okay. a song called Monkey. There's a song called Human Being. Mm -hmm. There's a song called Mine. There's a song called Yours. Okay. There's a song called Bad Bele, A song called Always Love. You know. So every song, brothers, enemies. That's the opposite. Yeah, and there's a song in the middle called The Middle. You know. Okay. And so. Um, it's very interesting. It's it's stories, different did you stories. Write the, most of it? Did you get? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I worked with a lot of young artists. What about producers? With, producers too. There's a guy called L3. He's amazing. He's about to be the biggest thing in Nigerian music over the next five years and and beyond. And then this other guy that's just this gem that we discovered. His name is Reinhard. He's 20 years old. Man, so talented. I also had writing partner. I mean, my engineer G Plus. Mm -hmm. You know, young guy from Jaws came through. You know, so I had a, an amazing team. Uh, there's a guy that helped me write, Millie, you know, young guy. He's about to be a big star, you know what I mean? Okay. And so it's exciting. I feel like I'm back in just starting again. Like I'm the underdog again and we're... Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing about deals with uh, uh, foreign uh, labels. I'm hearing about deals with uh, foreign uh, drinks manufacturers. I heard about some deal about, with the Jay-Z's uh, cognac company. I heard about a deal with a record label. So what's going on with that? My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, these are, <laughs> is, I can't even believe, I don't, I don't even know how you heard, you know, well, there's, there's things. I know people. Yeah, there are things that are happening yeah. and hopefully all will come good soon. Okay. All right, good. We're about to go. That's the truth with my man, M.I., Mr. Incredible. The real name is? Judah Baga. And you yeah. know what? Jude wants us to give us, wants us to hear a little sample, maybe take you back and then take you forward of what's coming. All right. Mm -hmm. From back in the day till now, looking forward to the album, the chairman. Yeah. Dropping, yes sir. We look, we can't wait. Hot, hot stuff. Yeah. You want to do something? Yeah, man. I mean, we'll. we'll I, I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll spit bars and then I'll see how many fans are there because I can see y'all. I'm watching mm -hmm. you right now. See how many fans followed me from from day one. So and give us something that we we haven't heard. Yeah, before. I'll give you something you haven't heard. Okay. So it starts from when I say jump, jump. Everybody in the place dance. You guys remember that one? And they went to. They call me M I uh, just because I'm getting higher, I'm spitting fire, I'm spitting fire. Um, I'm going to felly, felly, I'm spitting like Machiavelli, I'm always inside your telly, your lyrics are smelly, smelly, I'm chilling in pelly, pelly, like chilling inside your belly. These rappers are really silly, these rappers are milly, vanilla. And then we move to, um, they call me M I with a brand new flow, brand new style, brand new dance, beat for the dance, dance flow. It's the incredible mister, the fist of fury coming through a transistor. I know T, I know T, Lily. And then we move to, African rapper number one, yeah, yes sir. They know I'm the best sir. I'm on top of the list sir. Cash is clear what I do to the list, son. Rappers uh, are vexed, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> then uh, it went to beef. Uh -huh. Remember the, yes, the, the, the line of beef here? I know. Um, the, I, I would fry mm -hmm. as I sat in the sun through the weekend. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I would fry as I sat in the sun through the weekend, believing if I worked hard, then I could reach them. And now we're on the Chairman Project. And one of the songs is called Rich. It's a prayer for everybody out there. I'm going to do the, the, the second verse. Let me do the second verse. Um, I was telling my family, my daddy, my mommy, my brothers, I'm talking about Jackson's Amani. We don't have no money. They're treating us funny. But soon we'll be talking to, on the truth to Tolisa. Morning is coming and soon it'll be sunny. Land will be flowing with milk and with honey. Driving a Bentley and dating Agbani. Flying to Yankee to pick up the Grammy. Omo, Baba, Lowo, eh? 
all of our children will sing that tomorrow because they don't know what it's like in the ghetto. They don't know the meaning of borrow. Listen, from blessing to blessing, no stressing my life, I'm progressing. I'm confessing, confessions of flexing till my pocket is vexing. May that be your testimony. Amen. Chairman album coming out real soon. Go get it. 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> the truth. What can I say? Thank you, brother. It's a pleasure. A pleasure. Nice one. Great honor. I saw my venue. I was like, wow. This is me. Came down, took a picture, post steady. I do proper shows, proper venues. People started catching feelings. I don't. This dude either doesn't like me or somebody with him doesn't like me and is feeling something. Do you understand? 